Welcome back, everybody, to this great, great day. As you can tell, Amity, wherever she's at, I think she's like right there. Up, oh, she's she's right there. She's getting hyped up for her birthday, but that's not what this is about. We got a birthday party Saturday, but that's not what this is about. No, no, no. I said in one of the last videos that there's just a lot more things going on here. And well, we've already somewhat started. Now we may or may not have acquired, adopted, saved, however you want to word it, a new animal. And we are going to build him a badass outdoor enclosure. That's gonna be freaking awesome. And we're obviously gonna build him a new, a better one for inside for the winter. But we're building this and it's gonna be, again, freaking awesome. We got wire for it, sphagnum moss, the topsoil that has nothing in it, sand, all kinds of stuff. He's got a sweet water tub, bowl, whatever we got. Hella wood, lots of wood. What? I know, honey. And, but what we didn't film, and we should have, but we were so excited to get it done, was our sweet new jerry-rigged catio. It's got the litter box, little spot that gets hot, food, water, cat tree. This post, Alex spent, you know, I think like 30 bucks on to wrap, and like 30 bucks and 10 hours to wrap all that, because it goes all the way to the top and all the way down. And they got a little shelf right here, but this is the cool part of this. It's a tunnel that goes in and just sits right over, goes in through the screen door so the cats can come in and out. So, if we're gone for the day, we'll just throw some food and water and some litter in there and close them out. You know, it'll be fine. We don't have to worry about it. It's gonna be awesome over there. We're working in, and out, working in and out of the house. We're not worrying about the cats. We'll just throw them in there, block the window, and life is good. But, it, like I said, oh, excuse me, like I said, we're building another enclosure. Now we're going to, we already got the base of it and I made the mistake of not really filming this because Alex just wanted me to get the base done so she could do this. But we got the chicken wire down. So a little less digging I and mean, we're gonna fill it up with there. You'll see what we're gonna do. It's gonna be awesome. And we'll even discuss what it's about here. Probably not this video, but probably the next video when we wrap it up, we will talk about it because it's gonna be freaking cool. But, so we're gonna put another set of two by fours up and around to go three high and then we're gonna build the top and we're kind of gonna build it like we did these guys so we kind of did it this way but it's not gonna be as tall which this honestly shouldn't have been as tall as it is we just kind of did it this way because we're like why the hell not um but eventually we're gonna do kind of like what we did with the cat uh stack over there a little plate right there where we kind of put it up and put screws in it um actually we'll probably just screw into this i don't know that's whatever that's not important that's not what we're worried about we're not working on that right now we're working on this we're working on this and yeah so we're basically i'm gonna put that other piece of frame up kind of show that off after i do it and then kind of show how i'm gonna build it up and we're only probably gonna go as tall as this as tall as our little shed here again 130 bucks and everything you can't beat that and it's great and it works and no rooms have gotten in there that's what we're looking for but so we're probably gonna go this tall i mean because i'm six one and i fit like just perfectly in here so i think that's how we're gonna do it but yeah so i'm gonna get this framed in and we're gonna use three two by fours for it one eight foot one eight foot half an eight foot half an eight foot so three boards total to fill this in and then when we start doing the upper posts I will show that off, kind of how I'm thinking of doing it. And I think it's gonna be just as sturdy, if not more sturdy than the bunny enclosure. But, I mean, that's kind of what the plan is. So I will get that little bottom piece put together and then I'll pick it back up. All right, so Mrs. Level Pants over here, she's judging my work. I don't see her doing nothing. I'm just kidding. She raises that gremlin over there. Anyways, so we got the top piece on. So it's gonna be three high because we're gonna put a uh, substrate probably about that deep. So we're gonna take these two by fours and I'm gonna cut them a certain way, but we're gonna stick them like so, like that. So there's gonna be one like that. And then there's gonna be another one like that, like right up in the corner. So everything will like, uniformly lock oh, oh i just fell over 
can all uniformly lock so everything's gonna be all supported and then we'll but yeah so it's all gonna be uniformly locked and then we're gonna put these kind of like we did here so we're gonna lock them on each side this one only has one on each side that's kind of interesting i did that i don't know why i did that but and then we're gonna brace it all the way through and put another one in the center just like this basically it's an identical copy of that a little bit stronger a little bit better so it's kind of what we're gonna do i'm thinking so just kind of giving a rundown so we're gonna do that get them all put together get all the sticks up make it look all pretty and then figure out what's next because i'm kind of just doing this like i kind of drew out a plan but i kind of didn't i don't know and we threw it away so i'm just kind of going off of what i remember of how i think it should look so we're working on that here we go all right so we are ish way done i mean we got the tops kind of set up i can't do angles to save my life but it's gonna have like a little slanted roof deal but i mean it does look pretty killer we're going black like everything else but yeah so we got the three levels up got all the side posts up um we need to go buy more wood um as usual and uh because um, i can't cut and measure correctly you know, i don't do the measure twice cut once i do the eyeball it and cut it and then be mad later but so i think when i get home for tomorrow that's when we'll pick it back up and we will get the rest of it framed in and who knows maybe alex will have some of the uh, chicken wire or the uh, the the hardware cloth that stuff that's what we're going with we're going with the expensive fancy stuff for this one um maybe we should have some of that done i don't know i still got a lot to do on this all i know is i'm tired so i will pick this up when i get off, uh, when i get off work all righty we're back back from work got more supplies lots more wood and alex when i was at work she went a little crazy painted it black put some more chicken wire up put the mesh netting up the hardware cloth look at that she's gonna paint it black so it's all nice and looking pretty hyped on how it's turning out amazingly i haven't messed it up yet well ish i've already cut a few things that were not were a little bit too short but that's okay so we are going to continue i, I would time lapse but it's just a lot of cutting and cussing and all that stuff and i get really confused it's not really worth time lapsing but the process of getting there is super fun but yeah so we're got everything drilled and i got to do some spray foam in and stuff just to kind of tighten it up but we're gonna put we're gonna frame the door in put the sidebars up kind of reinforce it we're gonna do the top here that to make it look all good and then we'll frame everything in and honestly i think by tomorrow we should be good to go should be done with it and then just kind of decorate the inside building um the hide box kind of a clue of what might be going in here um but yeah getting all the, the substrate in the bedding in all that fun stuff so yeah we're we're that close to getting the main part of it done and then we're getting ready to really hammer it home but yeah i'm excited so we're gonna finish framing it out and i'll show you what it looks like darker colder and a new t-shirt it was getting a little chilly night has fallen but guess what you can't even see me but guess what we are almost done with it we got Alex went through and she hardware clocked back. Can't really even see it. It's so damn dark outside right now. But she went through, did it all up, got her supports in the center. Supports there. The whole top is boxed in. We're gonna put another support going across to there so we could put the roof on to keep our little homie dry. But we even got the door framed. So that's gonna be where the door is. I already got the pieces cut for it, but it's too dark to be cutting i don't want to lose a finger i'm tired of getting splinters so i think i will pick this up first thing tomorrow but when we get back from having fun and buying our stuff so i will see you in the morning day three look at that she's going to town we just got back from the zoo for the kiddo's birthday and she instantly started to go to work so we are getting the door done getting the cross support done on it so we can actually be ready to put the roof on it tomorrow because then I'll go to the Home Depot and get stuff tomorrow. But yeah, we are cooking and booking with this thing. I mean, I think it's been a, what, a total of maybe seven hours if not working on this thing. Probably. If that. Uh, yeah, really over quick. three days, which you see is like, that's kind of <laughs> slow go, but we also start really, really late. Like I think the first day we started, would you quit? He's over there playing with his little girlfriend crazy dogs but i think the first day we started at like five and five and five at night only had like an hour or two of daylight last time i picked this up to work on it we started at seven so i only had an hour of daylight today it's already 
what, six? Yeah, 612, so yeah, we're gonna try to get as much as we can so that we can paint it and then get the roof on tomorrow and get everything set up and then build the little hide spot, put in the water dish, substrate, we're good to go. So I will pick that up once we get all that framed in. Here we go. Yo, look at this. We're running out of supplies here, but we got the top bar up for the roof to go over. I have to go get that, but this thing is looking killer. The door actually closes correctly. The locks work. Like I'm doing this enough where you think I might know what the hell I'm doing finally. Hey, right, we just gotta put wire there and there. We're gonna paint it black. I think I already said it like that in the back so it kind of is invisible. Put a roof on there and that'll be it. And then we still gotta build the hide too. But no, it is freaking awesome. I love it. I'm getting, I, I feel like we're getting better and better at this. So, I mean, we're, slowly getting there but yeah so tomorrow in the morning i'll go buy a bunch of stuff we'll wrap it up show it off we have to go over cost of everything too at the end. yeah and then um after we show it off and get the little dude in here and see how he's enjoying it we will do a price breakdown on it because i think we actually kept a lot of the receipts and price breakdown not clean anyway. so but yeah so we will we will pick this up First thing tomorrow. <laughs> oh, that's a good way to start this day. Dude, we're freaking done. Mostly. What, 95%? You say? Right? Yeah. Oh, good. Sorry. Glad you're talking. <laughs> Picking your nose and talking. Yeah. But it's pretty much done. Ow. Ow. But we got all the hardware cloth up. We're going to. I got to put some more screws up here in the ceiling. But we're gonna be mixing some dirt, some sand, and some sphagnum moss, getting it wet, and layering it in. And I definitely don't think we have enough. No, I actually be a good start. guarantee we don't have enough. But it'll be like she just said, it'll be a really, really good start. And the best part of this is, because I'm pretty proud of this, is this hide box. Like that's for me, that's pretty impressive. Because I kind of just half-ass everything. But check that out. Look at that, and it's functional and it works. We'll see how long it lasts though. But yeah, this is gonna be really, really awesome. So we're gonna be mixing and dumping, and then I think we'll actually be able to get the pad out, plug it in, screw it to the roof, and then bring our new little homie out here. And I think that's, yeah, we're probably gonna get it all ready tonight and then bring him out first thing in the morning. And I think that's how we're gonna top this video off but as far as like what we're using is for like his the substrate is like super simple it's non it's just all straight soil no chemicals added sphagnum moss and sand and you're gonna mix it all in so it holds humidity so he can burrow down do whatever he needs to do, live his life and the way since we got rid of that tree right there if you can tell there was an apple tree there the sun is pretty much beating on that all day Kind of like it does on the torch saw now just kind of beats on everything all day so i think we made the right call putting here as unfortunate as it is once it doesn't have sand in it or anything we can actually pick this up and move it it's heavier than hell but we could do it because i accidentally picked it up the other day before the roof got put on it and it frightened me but you can move it so all of it's movable if we need to we're not doing that though i think it's permanent it's staying i'm not gonna pick that thing up but yeah we're gonna fill it all in and honestly probably i'll just wrap this up when we throw them in and call it good because we're just mixing dirt layering it down so yeah i guess i will show off what the little dude looks like there and everything we'll be right back day four or five final day i went in and i don't want to take the plan off we'll move that but you don't know if you can see it but we put his heat pad in there and he's keeping everything nice and toasty in there but the mulch is good the substrate's good the water's good everything is good we got her whole place decorated for her birthday party happy fourth year that's okay she's not a big fan of the spiders outside but i'm gonna hand this off to alex and i'm gonna go get him really quick kick my shoes off or put my shoes off real quick all righty so you can are we doing this live? Talk about it, or you can... I'm not showing my face on camera right now. Or, can, or you can pause it and let me bring him out, whatever you want to do. Just like that. Come on, Dad. Look. Hi, Barbie. I give to you. Yeah, 
Domino is what we're calling him. Amity is calling him Wildstar. I don't know why, but she is. But this is our Damn, put your shoes on. brand new pet, black and white Argentinian oh, tegu. He's a little small. I think it's because he wasn't properly taken care of. But Super cool though. He's pretty chill, honestly. Like we've gotten him to walk up our arms and everything, but if you look at him, he is just a handsome, hey handsome boy. You ready to see I your think new he's home? gonna like this a whole lot more. Am I know? Come Back on. Banks. But yeah, look at him. He's just checking it out. Okay, he might get a little huffy puffy, so just be careful, okay? Okay. Ooh. But yeah, you see, he's supposedly, what, three or five? Five. Five, and he just seems like he's super small. And I think it's because he wasn't properly taken care of. I'm not really judging anybody, because you never know what it is. Banksy off. The dogs haven't seen him yet. And the dogs haven't really seen him yet, so like they're super interested. And look, he's already found his hide, which is perfect. So that means he's looking for a safe space. Thanks. And it's nice and toasty, and I just put my hand in there. But yeah, all this is for him. Hey, buddy. And we'll eventually go through, and we're yep, he's all making his way in his little house. Mm -hmm. Pretty big house, actually, for as small as he is. Uh -huh. It's a pretty big house. But yeah, he's got his water dish. Oh, no. um, we're going to put another rock in here so we can put his food on it for him, or another stone like that. But yeah, no, I think he's going to do pretty good in here. Um, I'm super excited because I know with the natural sunlight and the way we feed our animals, he will get bigger and live a lot happier. Because I mean, he was in—he wasn't really in the best conditions when we picked him up. And would you stop pushing me, please? You stopped pushing me. Sorry. And he—he uh, he just seemed really small for being five. So we're hopefully there's nothing wrong with him. Um, but he is a beautiful, beautiful lizard. Like here, man. Let me go inside real quick. I just I'm trying, stop. But yeah, he's already made his way in his box. Don't really want to disturb him too much, but we're gonna just to kind of show off what it looks like in here. Yeah, he's getting all huffy puffy, but yeah, that's a good little spot. And this is super warm pad, so I'm just gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna put this back on. I think we're gonna hang that up. But yeah, that is that is it. I mean, it's it's a lot for a little guy, but I mean, it's it's escape proof everything. The only questionable spot really is I made a hole here for, to run the electrical, but he ain't gonna fit through that. Nothing's gonna get through that. But yeah, that is. Ooh, excuse me. That is what we've been working on. Now we're gonna let him acclimate, enjoy himself. Probably try to shove some food in there to see if he eats it. Um, he's still going through the feeling out process of us. He's not really eating for us. He's had a few things of chicken, some eggs some apple like he's kind of eating some things but yeah we're slowly working on it but he's already pretty friendly with me because i kind of hang out with him quite a bit more um because i'll play video games and he was in there and i would just he was in my room for a little bit my little man cave and we'd hang out but yeah all this is for it now the cost breakdown of this kind of expensive probably the most we've spent on an enclosure i mean more than that with the box and everything more than the chicken pen definitely more than the tort enclosure um yeah, I went yesterday, and Alex is probably going to freak out when I say this, but I went yesterday and I had to buy some roofing stuff, which is all this. I'd still have to go buy screws to finish it off, but I had to go buy a roof and some other stuff, and that was a $151 trip on that deal. <laughs> uh, Home Depot is not cheap, so that was $151 yesterday. Um, I think we've spent, God, about... I think the first trip with the wood... And the first set of, um, what's it called? The first set of, uh, like this, we got a whole little double lock system on her now, just as safety precautions so nobody sees her or anything like that or tries to take him from us. Um, but uh, I think the first trip, well, I have the receipt somewhere, I just can't remember. I think we might have thrown it away. But the first trip was 80 bucks, so we're already over 200 there. Second trip, was another $120 trip. So we're well into it, at least 400 with everything. And we've had some stuff that we kind of pieced together, but total, we spent about $400 on this entire closure. Thank God the heat pad came with it because I know they're not cheap. But yeah, I mean, not bad for $400. I mean, including him, we're in it almost $800 <laughs> total, including the animal himself. But no, I think he's gonna really love it. I think he's gonna thrive. And as we update it and 
everything we'll show it off more and then when we show kind of how we're getting him set up more in the future because they're we're constantly going to be upgrading because this is not a hundred percent perfect setup obviously we know that we're not done you know it's not a hundred percent perfect but for right now i mean this is this is a pretty killer setup and when it's super sunny out it hits right here especially since we got rid of that tree it just kind of slams right here so this whole area will heat up nicely he'll really like that um this stays really really uh moist and humid for him which is great which is exactly what i wanted because we used a uh, just like topsoil like untreated topsoil so it's all natural no chemicals added and sphagnum moss and that's it and i think we're gonna put some place sand in here to kind of keep all the keep it all together a little bit better and stuff because i know that they do like that but i mean you can tell like see it just kind of clumps up when you squeeze it like a little bit of moisture comes up but not much but it just clumps up really nicely so which is exactly what i wanted so we'll see um i'm hoping that he again he grows out really big maybe we'll get him a female in the future maybe we'll have to get a bigger enclosure i don't know what we're gonna do but that's what this was all about so you know 420 dollars later 350 dollar animal in it almost 800 dollars not bad a little bit more than what i wanted to spend but hey it's fun the kid loves it the wife surprisingly likes him um and she was really her idea to get him so but i'm always happy to do it but yeah that's it that was today and this is domino i wonder if we could see him i don't want to freak him out too much yeah yeah he's just chilling in there but that's our boy domino we love him all righty y'all i hope y'all have a great ow i'm too tall for this that was unfortunate way to end the video hope you all have a great day hope thanks for everybody subscribing and watching listening watching me ramble please like comment subscribe i love reading the comments i love responding to them it's always fun y'all have a good one peace